Welcome to this HTML CSS JavaScript tutorial. HTML is where we're going to start. And HTML is short for a hypertext markup language and is still the base of most websites. To keep this course hands-on, we will need, let's say, a sandbox to actually do some coding in. For that, we're going to use the website repl.it, R-E-P-L.it. So please open another tab in your browser and go to REPL IT. So when you found the page, this is what you'll see. And the first thing to do is to sign up, of course. So click the big button in the center of the screen saying sign up. You will have to pick a username or just use your Google, GitHub or Facebook account. Now I'm going to use my Google account for this. And this is the first thing that you'll see. Now in the top right of your screen, you will see a button that says new REPL. Click on that, scroll down a bit, and click HTML, CSS, JavaScript. And then create a REPL. So this is our work environment. It's for free, and it will emulate a server hosting a website. That pretty much means that we can type our HTML, CSS, and JavaScript in here and see the result immediately. So the first thing I want you to do is to select all the code that you see in the middle window and just delete it. Now, to show you that HTML is a super easy language, I just want you to type your name in the middle window and then click Run. So here we go. This is my name and I click the green run button at the top. This will actually work if you create a website and you save it as an HTML document with only your name in it, the website will actually produce your name and put it on the screen. That's how easy HTML is. Now, since this is a bit boring, we're going to make the letters somewhat bigger. To do that, we're going to wrap our name in an h1 tag. What is that, you may ask? Well, let me show you. Before our name, I'm going to put an opening angular bracket, then type h1, and a closing angular bracket. Let's say a lesser than sign and a greater than sign. Now, behind my name, I'm going to do the same thing, except I'm going to put a slash before h1. And before I explain this, just click run and see what happens. There you go. Our name is still produced on the screen, but it's now bigger. So what did we just do? We typed our first HTML tag, the h1 tag. A tag is like a command that will not be literally output to the screen, but gives information to the browser about a piece of content on our website. So h1 is the opening tag and slash h1 is the closing tag and anything in between will be printed larger on the screen as you can see here. So the tags are never output to the screen. Now besides making letters bigger, it will also produce a line break, meaning that our cursor will now be on the next line. Now, although this will work, if we would save the HTML file like this, it would be considered to be not very good practice. It's better to structure our website a bit. For that, we are going to wrap the entire code we typed so far in HTML tags. So here we go. I'm going to put the cursor at the start of my code and I'm going to hit enter. Then I'm going up a line. And there I will start to type the HTML tag. Now, as you already saw with the H1 tag, where there's an opening tag, there should be a closing tag. Well, at least for most tags, that's the case. So now I'm gonna put the cursor on the end of this coding line and hit enter. And now I'm gonna close the tag with slash HTML. Now, in HTML, it's good practice 
that if something is wrapped in tags, then what's in between will get some indentation. So we'll make that two spaces for now. So line two will get two spaces, and now here's the way it looks. We could also put our name on the next line, like so, and it will automatically indent. Now we're going to put the closing tag for H1 on the line under our name, like so, by hitting enter. And now we manually have to put it back by hitting backspace once. So here's what our code looks like now. And if we run it, we won't see any difference. So the tags don't show up on your web page. They just provide the web browser with information. That's all. So let's do a little more structuring. I'm going to put my cursor after the HTML tag and I'm going to hit enter. Because I'm going to split up my website in two parts, namely the header and the body. The header starts with a head tag. For now, I'm going to close it immediately with slash head. I'm going to align it properly. I'm going to put some space in between it because there will be some stuff here that I'm going to put there. Then under the closing tag for head, I'm going to hit enter once to create an empty line. And then I'm going to type body and put a body tag there. After our closing H1 tag, I'm going to put the closing tag for body. So that's slash body. And I'm going to make the indentation for H1 for the name and for the closing tag H1, two spaces. So here's what our code looks like now. It's starting to look very complex, but still, if we run the file, it will just say the name that we typed. So why do we divide our page into two sections? Well, that's to separate the HTML that deals with what we see on our web page from other stuff. So everything that's displayed on our website, you will put in between the body tags, like right here. So what other stuff goes into the header then? Well, for instance, the title that you see on your browser's tab. So let's try that. First, I'm going to put four spaces indentation here, and then I'm going to open with a title tag. Then you can type something like my first web page. And you put the closing title tag there. Okay, now if we run this, we won't see any difference. For that, we will have to open our website in a new tab. And that's, that's actually how our website will look. So way over here on the right, there is a button uh, that's like an arrow coming out of a box. If you hover over it, it'll say open in a new tab. So I want you to click that and see what happens. So now you'll still see your name printed big, but up here you'll see the title in the tab. It says my first web page. So that's how the title works. So if you want, you can toy around a bit with whatever is inside the body. So now we have one H1 tag with some content in between. So if you want, you can just copy that and paste it underneath and maybe change the text like so. Of course, you have to adjust the indentation if need be and just change it into whatever you want. You can also try to change the H1 tag into H2, but don't forget to change the closing tag as well. You can try H2 up to H6 and see what the difference is. There is no H7, so no need to try that. By the way, the indentation will not break your code if you don't do it. So if I remove this, or if I remove this, the code will still work the same. It's just for readability 
that we add those indentation spaces. Okay, that's enough for now. Your code will be saved automatically, as you can see here. So you don't need to worry about the next time. 